Hi guys, so today I'm going to be taking you how I basically package a little birthday gift using the Telemundo Prince card. No shameless plug. So I designed this card. You can get it on Telemundo Prince. There it is. It says, Happy Jazzy Birthday. Um, so basically, I'm going to use some twine, some wax seals right here, as you can see. And then from start to finish, I'll take you guys how I basically package this. So, um, I'll do like some zoom ins of everything so you guys can see how easy it is. All right, guys, so as you can see, I have the, the little present, the Telemundo Prince card, the wax seals, and everything I basically need to start, right? So, I'm going to get this going. Now I always um, like to have like a big piece of paper because this does get messy. So you don't want to do it like on a really nice table or wherever you guys can't because it drips and it's always good because this gets hot so you don't want to put it also like on a like a weak surface that that'll get damaged. So what I'm gonna start with basically will be the twine here. Um, first I like to basically so I know some people go like around four times. I just, you know, tie it once for the first time just to make sure that it's secure because otherwise it looks sloppy in the end. Um, let me just put this here. Now I go around through the back and I bring it up front. It's easier if you cut it so it doesn't keep pulling it while you're trying to knot it. Also, I think it's easier to put the card in before you do the final, the final, um, not. And just so you guys can take a look and I can show it to you. This is the card. So it says, Happy Jazzy Birthday. And you can get it on Telemo the Prince. Okay. Just a little. Get it ready. I'm going to put it right here. Just close it in the end. Perfect. The fun part of this is like there's so many endless possibilities that you can use whatever you want in terms of twine, the wax seal, color envelopes, whatever card designs you want. So let me just close this really quick. And one more. Now you don't want to do too many knots here because you don't want it to be like bumpy when you do put the wax seal. Um, I normally like to place it before I get the wax seal where I want to do. Now what I suggest to do that it's like a good trick to know, um, don't do this so the like the, the top of the envelope doesn't hang out so you can get the secure part. So it also looks better symmetrically if you, you know, if you put it, actually I just noticed this was upside down. So let me fix that. Put it back in through this way. So now, if you leave it right in the center, I think it looks, you know, better and neater. And also, let me move this to avoid any bumps. So basically, the wax seal is going to go right in this area. Now we're going to select what kind of seals we want, right? So because, like, you kind of see, I, I mean, some people just do whatever they want. They kind of just like shuffle it. I personally prefer to grab a wax seal that goes with the accordion colors of the packaging, of the gift wrapping, just because it looks nicer and everything. And also the fact that this is like, um, you know, we have like a craft color envelope, so this is perfect. We also have um, antique gold where it's more like a shiny gold type of paper. So this is pretty good because, you know, you can do, so the less colorful the envelope is, the more color you can use in the wax seal because otherwise it will be, you know, overkill. So I'm gonna put this little scooper here to heat up. Make sure that it's good and sturdy. Um, so now, um, it's also good. The problem with this is that if you get colors that are like too similar, it won't show, like it won't give you that marble effect when you drip it. But if you do select like different colors, it will show like all of them. And I also figured out that yellow really makes it pop no matter what color you use. So that's all we Your little pen ready. So the logo of this is um, the tree of life. So I have made a few mistakes before where I put 
you know, I just leave it like near me when I'm creating. So I also, um, I learned that if you leave the logo, how you want to place onto the envelope, by the envelope, so you don't put it upside down, because I've done that before in the past. So this is just a good idea to leave it like this, okay? So I'm just gonna center it a little bit, have it ready. And there you go. So I'm gonna drip it onto the envelope. And you kinda wanna focus and try to leave it right in the middle. And now you double check. So the trick with this, you kinda wanna hold it for like a good 40 seconds, right? Because if you pull it out too soon, then it messes up the, the wax seal and the wax seal stamp. So the trick, I think, for me at least, I always leave it on, like, I hold it for 30 seconds or 40, depending on how much I feel like it. But then you kind of want to leave it by itself, standing up for a good minute or two just to cool down. Because then you have the opportunity, if you like to, to use one of the metallic pins. You have gold and silver, right? So basically we'll color in on top of the movement. As you can see, it looks pretty good. The stamp is still a little hot, so just be careful where you place it. So that's the end, the finished product. And if you want, you're able to color in. So I'm not gonna do gold and I, I'm gonna wanna do silver because I already used a silver one. So I think this one is good as it is. So I'm just gonna leave it like that. If you guys want to take a closer look, as you can see, it looks pretty good. So this is the finished product. And then I'll just let it cool for a minute or two and then I'll package it and send it out. Hope you guys liked it.